As a fellow Gen Z or millennial, are you tired of baby boomers telling you that your generation can't handle life's challenges and is too weak? Is it really that simple, or is there more going on? This video is inspired by this comment by Eddie9892. Generations are always evolving, and with each new wave of young people, there are unique challenges and strengths. In this modern era, young people face hurdles and opportunities that previous generations might not have even imagined. So let's explore eight key factors influencing this perception of weakness and the strengths that often go unnoticed. Education. Today, education is a basic right. Unlike in the past, when it was a privilege. This means young people now have more knowledge, diverse viewpoints, and a better understanding of the world. Sometimes, this can create tension with older generations. For example, let's look at social justice at work. Young people often speak out against unfair treatment. They see it as a standing up against abuse. However, some older people might mistake this for weakness, thinking young people can't handle stress. But what's being challenged here is real abuse, not just stress. Being more educated doesn't make young people weaker. It makes them better at thinking critically and standing up for what's right. They aren't afraid to question outdated norms and strive for a fairer society which shows real strength and adaptability. Technology and social media Technology has changed our world completely. We can connect globally, but it also brings new challenges. Some people think younger generations are more fragile because they're always on their phones. Older folks might say, In our day, we didn't have smartphones and we did just fine. But this view oversimplifies the reality. Studies show that while social media can lead to addiction, stress, loneliness, anxiety, and depression, it also provides tools older generations didn't have for better communication, collaboration, and access to information. This means young people today face new challenges such as dealing with a flood of information and misinformation, managing their online presence, handling cyberbullying and online harassment, balancing screen time with real life, coping with pressure to look perfect online, adapting to fast-changing technology and job markets. These are challenges that require new forms of resilience. So young people are not inherently weaker, we're just facing new problems and actively finding new solutions. Mental health awareness. One positive change is the increased awareness of mental health. Younger generations talk more openly about mental health and are more likely to seek help. This awareness is crucial for well-being. While it might seem like we're struggling more, we're actually better at addressing these issues head-on, which is a sign of strength, not weakness. Economic pressure. Economic conditions are tougher now. High living costs, student debt, and a competitive job market make it harder for young people to achieve what was once normal, like buying a house. Additionally, older generations often criticize young people for avoiding traditional 9-to-5 jobs and changing jobs frequently. But this doesn't mean we're weak. Many young people see the unfairness in the capitalist system. We understand the problems in traditional job structures and prefer not to be stuck in outdated norms. This drives us to start our own businesses work as freelancers or take on projects that offer more freedom and satisfaction. Young people are adapting to these economic challenges by finding new ways to succeed. We're not avoiding work, we're simply redefining what success and work-life balance mean in our own terms. Want more videos like this? Kindly give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Social Expectations and Work-Life Balance In addition to the previous point, the priorities and expectations for young people have changed. There's a stronger focus on balancing work, personal life, and mental well-being. While older generations might see this as a lack of commitment, or mistake this for weakness, it's actually about seeking a healthier, more balanced life. Young people are aware of the downsides of selling oneself to a company and the false promise that it will always pay off. We see the issues of being controlled by big corporations and want to set clear boundaries between work and personal life. We simply refuse to let our work and career define who we are or rule our lives. Overemphasis on safety. We often prioritize children's safety, so much that they aren't exposed to risks or any form of hardship. This can make them seem less tough, but does it mean they're weaker? Let's consider helicopter parenting in the baby boomer era. Better economic conditions and high-end safety concerns gave parents more time and resources to be involved in their children's lives. Also, compared to previous generations, families, especially in more well-developed countries, had fewer children and embraced new ideas like active parenting leading to a more protective and hands-on approach. This well-meaning involvement often meant kids had fewer chances to deal with tough situations on their own. While some young people may seem less tough due to overprotection, it doesn't mean they're inherently weaker. They just haven't had as many opportunities to build strength through difficult experiences. So, it is not merely about generations. It's about the different conditions we face. 
Rising Narcissism There is an argument that narcissistic traits, like entitlement and lack of empathy, are increasing among younger generations due to overprotection and the influence of social media. While these traits are common signs of narcissism, they're usually responses to deeper societal issues and don't truly reflect a person's ability to cope. For example, the constant pressure to present a perfect life in social media, the competition to stand out in an increasingly crowded job market and the dating pool, and the need to meet ever-rising expectations in personal and professional spheres can make people adopt narcissistic traits as a coping mechanism. Relationship Dynamics the rise in breakups and divorces can make it seem like young people can't commit or work through relationship challenges. However, this view overlooks the more complex dynamics we face today. Young people are more aware of toxic behaviors and abuse, so we tend to leave bad relationships more readily than the older generations do. For example, in the past, societal pressure, stigma, and lack of financial independence often kept individuals in toxic relationships. Today, with more equality, financial independence, better education, and less stigma around divorce, people are more willing to leave relationships that don't work or are life-threatening. While issues like communication problems, infidelity, and abusive partners still cause breakups, our awareness of toxic relationships and the ability to leave them plays a big role in how relationships work today. Every generation has its strengths and challenges, so labeling an entire generation as weak is an oversimplification. Dear Gen Zs and Millennials, your challenges are real, but so is your strength. We're navigating a world more complex and fast-paced than ever before, armed with knowledge, tech-savvy skills, and a deep sense of fairness and well-being. We're not weaker. We're just facing different challenges and adapting in our own unique ways. Did you agree with our list? What unique strengths have you discovered in yourself as you face today's modern issues? Let's keep this conversation going in the comments below. For more insights, check out this video.